Is Uthman a Zani, which means he is a fornicator? One. So now, <clears throat> this guy, he asks Nico to ask Uthman an honest question. How many wives you have? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, brother Nico. I hope you're doing well. I have a request. Can you ask Sheikh Osman how many wives he had last October? And then ask him again. Last October? There's any update for We are in November now. <laughs> Uh, you know, Osman, he married her for a few weeks, and this guy, he forced him to divorce, otherwise he will report him. So that guy, he dumped her. So they want to go to uh, to jail, you know? So, uh, and he, uh, he recorded the phone call, actually. He would hear the phone calls. So, go, go. Tell us what happened. He had last October. And then ask him again, why you divorced your second wife 15 days ago? How many wives do you have? One, alhamdulillah, <laughs> you know. You will notice how the liar, he took him, it took him some time to think about it. You see, no, notice, notice. The the idiot Nico, he asked the question, right? Why Uthman is pausing to think what he will say? Notice, will be carefully. One, alhamdulillah. See? See the fake answer? Listen, listen wife 15 days ago how many wives do you have one alhamdulillah <laughs> yeah. i have a wife alhamdulillah i have kids i'm happy alhamdulillah alhamdulillah what is funny well i don't know so in islam the man there's nowhere in any hadith there's nowhere in any verse in the quran that states that a woman has to give permission to her husband for him to get a second wife um, for a man to get a wife without asking his first because nowhere does it say that the second wife is the other white guy wife now the same woman we heard her before so this is the wife they are fighting over which is wife for both now <laughs> so it look she is educated in islam you know osman he told her osman he told her you know my wife she do not need permission from me you know from her I do not need permission from my wife to have you. Listen, we can have secret marriage, all right? Just let us go to bed. In the Quran that states that a woman has to give permission to her husband for him to get a second wife. Um, for a man to get a wife without asking his first, because nowhere does it say that, right? Verbal commitment to you. And me and my husband have made a deal that if I am starting to fall... Look at the deal. Osman, not only he took the women from her husband, he is putting condition that he might take another woman. Already he have her as a second wife, as a secret wife. He swore to Allah for that. That's the best. He swore to Allah? He did? To prevent him from getting another. But also, my husband, he's got the money for two, but he don't got the time for three. He uh, Osman, shame on you. He have money for three, but he don't have time. So she is relaxed, you know, like she's, I mean, you know, he can squeeze sometimes. What are you talking about? I mean, he can spend with you a half hour instead of one hour. You know, I mean, what are you talking about? The time always is there, listen. He doesn't have the time to be able to split it between three women. He just doesn't, you know, he barely has the time to split it between her and I and four children. <laughs> one, alhamdulillah. <laughs> and now you will see the last theory in the movie this guy he forced Osman to divorce his wife Sneeko why Osman divorce his wife by my command who am I dating in general should young Muslims even date no no dating is haram haram think about a niqabi inshallah dating is haram <laughs> Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. This message for Brother Sneeko. May Allah bless you and may Allah strengthen your Iman. MashaAllah, God bless you, brother. <coughs> First, you want to ask me who is this guy? We're going to put that till later. Yesterday, you had an interview with Osman. You ask him how to find a good wife. You ask him about the dating and about OnlyFans. And he is like, What? OnlyFans? What is that? Really? Come on, Osman. You know what's OnlyFans. You live in San Diego. Come on. 
Okay, let's get to the subject here. Can you ask Osman how did he meet his second wife? How? What method he used? Let him answer you. And then ask me how did he find her? Let's see how, how, how does it go? Does it match or no? <coughs> and you're gonna, be, you're gonna tell me like, oh, this guy is crazy, right? Okay then, if still I am crazy or he's gonna call me crazy, why he divorced her upon my request? He divorced her upon my request. Upon what? My request. A lot of questions were gonna be raised here, right? Who am I to him to obey my request? The question, why Uthman he obey the command of this guy to divorce his wife? Just to let you know, I'm from San Diego, La Jolla, California. I'm not sure if you know me. <clears throat> you can contact me. Bro. This guy almost going to cry. You can tell he is really, he's, he's really struggling. May Allah guide him. Give her, give uh, uh, talaq three times. I give her talaq. Three times. Uh, three times. I divorced her three times. You heard it? Yeah, talaq, 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 please. See, so he forced Uthman to divorce his wife. So Uthman, he stepped with this woman for some time. And this guy, obviously, because this is not legal in, the, in California, uh, Muslims, uh, they can marry a second wife. But there is something very important. This woman, she is still married. And even if she is divorced, she have to wait for three months after the divorce. But the guy did not divorce her. This guy did not divorce his wife yet. So Uthman, he committed fornication according to Islam because he married a married woman. She's a divorce. Number two, even if she is married, he cannot marry her. Sorry, even if she's divorced, still he cannot marry her because he have to wait three months. He got her just a few weeks, four weeks maximum after she left her husband's house. And now the husband, he is forcing Uthman to divorce the wife and then you need to ask yourself why. Either Osman, he is afraid from this guy. He threatened him. And I find that the easiest way is to report him to the police. He can stay in, in jail for good time. You know, this is a crime. It's a felony in USA to have multiple wives. And uh, he committed a crime. And there is no need for a proof. I mean, it's in the front of, you know, here we go. Uh, the wife is there, the husband is there, the um, Uthman is there, the recording is there. This guy is recording the calls. And now he made Uthman, uh, sp because in Islam you can't just divorce a woman by, by saying the words. He made Uthman divorce his wife. So now he have a proof that Uthman, he married his wife because now he made him divorce her. You will not divorce a woman, she are not married to you, right? So it's a messed up story. He married his second wife while she is still married to someone else. What a big sin a man can do. You heard it? Yeah, talaq, 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 talib, 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 please. Talaq, 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 talib, talib, talib. Done? Okay, done. You know, you will notice here, Islam is best, he is saying, a Christian prince, you are a low class to talk about this. So, I am a low class to talk about this. You are a good class to do this? <laughs> According to the Quran, Uthman and that woman, they should be stoned to death. Low class idiot. According to the Sharia law, if we can consider it a law, the law of an idiot, Uthman and that woman, because she is married, and he claimed that he married her, but this is cannot be marriage because simply this is nothing but fornication. You don't marry a married woman. So 
he slept with married women, which is according to the Quran. Actually, not the Quran. The Quran doesn't ever mention that. This is in the Hadith. Uh, what man should be stoned to death? According to you, is say law, he shall go to jail. So they post this online, inviting the public to talk about their scandals. And then the Muslim says to you, you are low class to talk about it. Well, you are low class to, to do it. Uh, for us, we are here to expose your lies. Your sheikhs are not, nothing but a bunch of scumbags. They speak about Allah day and night. They grow a beard and they claim that they want to convert people to have the guidance. And yet your people are not guided. Those are supposed to be the best of your men. And look, here, just today, Lili Dawa have this video. What a coincidence. Divorce pandemic, what is the cause? This is when? This is just a few hours ago. Eight hours ago. So the Muslim community, we can say with no question, it's screwed up. Cheating, sleeping around, women, and, and, and what they do, they convince themselves that they are not really doing uh, sleeping around. It's a second wife, you know, it's just, it's marriage. So now he convinced her that he is marrying her but she shall know, she should know, and she is adult, unless she is six years old, that she is still married. And even if she is still, if, even if he divorces her, she cannot marry until three months pass. And we can find the verse from the Quran. Chapter 2, verse number 228. Women who they are divorced, they have to wait for three months, three period, three ministrations, which is a three months. Do you see it? And if she do anything before that, she is still married, even though she is divorced. She is still in the name of that guy. Why? Because the stupid Allah, he think that he need to be sure that the woman, she have no baby from the other guy. And the only way to know is a three month. So a divorced woman shall wait as regard their marriage for a three ministerial period. And it's not lawful for them to cancel what Allah has created in their wombs.